are stuck. I ain't want to let go easy. So I got her buried in there pretty good. Hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we've got a little bit of work to do in the pasture with the cows because I have a lot of weeds in my pasture. This year has been a really wet year and so the weeds have just grown like crazy. I've got weeds out here that are six foot tall. I don't wanna let those weeds run that tall and risk getting pink eye in my cattle. So I'm going to take the rotary cutter. We've got the Land Pride RCR 1248 rotary cutter. And what I'm actually going to do is leave this raised up off the ground as high as I can raise it and just go through and knock down all the tall weeds. It'll make the pasture look better and it will kind of help from keeping our cattle run around in six foot tall weeds. There's a lot of good grass in here, but it's kind of, you know, being overpowered by the weeds. And so we're gonna get that taken care of. Before we do any kind of cutting with the rotary cutter, we like to kind of go over it and make sure everything is all up into condition. So the, the first thing we did was check our gearbox oil level. And of course that's super simple. You've got just a little plug on the side and actually my dealer, when they set it up, they wrote check in a paint pen and mark the plug that you pull out the side and you fill it from the top. You take that vent off, you fill it from the top until it runs out of that side check plug. So super easy to keep fluid in your gearbox. And actually before I was doing YouTube on one of my very first uses of this rotary cutter, I apparently wrapped something around up above the stump jumper and it popped that seal out, which is like an O-ring plate. Um, there's a, a snap ring that holds that in and it popped that snap ring out and the O-ring plate fell out. All of my fluid leaked out of my gearbox and I noticed it whining and so I stopped to check it and sure enough. So it's good to keep an eye because you never know what's gonna happen. You wanna listen to your equipment and you wanna make sure you check your fluid. We got the gearbox topped off and then we went ahead and greased the U-joints and the back wheel on it. Uh, not a whole lot to maintain in a bush hog, but we wanna to try to take care of it and get as long of a life out of it as we can. So I am down to my last bit of diesel fuel. So I'm gonna have to go back to the station that sells red diesel and uh, fill up my cans, but I've got a half a tank of fuel. I think I can get this knocked out in that easy enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work.
Got her stuck. And I'm by myself. So, this may be an adventure. Move it, Guinea. Get back to it before we run out of fuel. Alright guys, well we made it before we ran out of fuel, so that's good. And we only got hung up the one time pretty well got the whole field mode, which I never do because this field is such a mushy mess. And the reason for that is because we're at the foot of Peak's Peak and we have all that runoff. And so there's spots where actually the high ground that the cattle are on back in there right now is actually where the old highway went through before they built the new road. And that ground is up higher and then there's a, a low spot right next to where the old road used to drop off. And that all fills with water and the drainage is just not good. Now, I cut a little ditch through there to try and help some of that drainage. And it, it did help a little bit because when I first moved here, you couldn't do anything in any of it. You could never drive around in any of that section over there. So it's come a long way, but it's still not exactly where I want it to be yet. If only I knew somebody with a backhoe that could do some like digging and drainage work and stuff. It's actually pretty hard to deal with all of that mess. It's a lot of digging and we've dug some ditches and trenches to divert the water, but obviously not quite enough yet. Now you might have wondered watching some of the time lapse, why is he all over the place zigzagging in and out and all around and turning around in weird places. And it's all because of the ditches that I've dug to divert the water and the low spots and wet spots where I'll get hung up. And I try my best to avoid those and keep from getting stuck. That's all right. They're growing good. Well guys, we got a lot done for just an evening after work. Uh, got the bush hog all kind of greased up and serviced and uh, we were able to get the field mode, which was nice. Got hung up one time, but we got her out. And this is about as clean as my tractor ever gets. If I get her covered in mud, then I'll hose it off a little bit. And since I hosed it off, I went ahead and greased the grease fittings on the loader and all that before I get ready to put it away. But uh, yeah, just had a good evening just kind of playing around with the tractor and making things look a little nicer around the farm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day. Yeah.